Good evening, I'm Larry Smith. We are learning more about the alleged assault of two Kentucky women in the Bahamas last weekend. Tonight, the nurse who helped them is sharing her story. And for the first time, we're hearing from the resort where the suspects worked. LAX 18's Angela Parsky joining us now in studio tonight with the very latest. Andrew. Yeah, Larry, the two best friends from Central Kentucky were on a dream cruise last weekend, but Sunday morning they took an excursion off to a resort on Grand Bahama where they say staff members drugged and sexually assaulted them through what they're calling an act of God. Another vacationer was there to help them soon after. We'll warn you, some details in this story may be disturbing or triggering. Don Gala Dobson and Amber Shearer we're making the most of the end of their tropical cruise Sunday. We just want to go to the beach and take pictures of the beach. When their day trip to a beach on the Bahamas took a turn. That was our worst day. The women say Pirates Cove Resort staff members drugged and sexually assaulted them. Bahamian police reporting they arrested two suspects soon after. Dobson and Shearer told us Tuesday they luckily had someone looking after them. She was our advocate. Had it not been for LaDonna advocating for us, I don't know what would have happened. LaDonna Batty, a family nurse practitioner from Arkansas, happened to be nearby when the women were found incoherent. Out of my 20s odd years of practicing, it was the worst scene that I had ever had to work. It was a horrible situation for both girls. She says she found Dobson and Shearer disheveled, sick and bruised, staying with them until police arrived. She believes there's no doubt the women were assaulted. Oh, 100 percent. Worst thing I've ever seen. They were in horrible shambles. Thursday, Pirates Cove management shared a statement with LEX 18 saying they're working with authorities in the investigation, but claim the women's allegations conflict with surveillance video. They added both suspects in the case have been fired after violating a zero tolerance policy for quote fraternizing with guests or behaving in a manner that is unsafe. Dobson and Shearer tell us they want their story out to hopefully keep it from happening to someone else. Anybody should be able to go on vacation and and have a drink or have a Coca Cola or have anything and take some pictures and not get brutally assaulted. Batty tells us she did provide a statement to Carnival Cruise security after the incident, but has not been contacted by law enforcement since. If you or a loved one is a victim of sexual assault and need help, a confidential national hotline is available at the number on the screen. That's 1-800-656-HOPE. Andrew, thanks so much for your work on this story all this week. Meanwhile